from Cassius IFL TV, MCK Global, at the OCL Arena here. I'm joined by Peter Fury. Um, a, a defeat for your boy tonight to Alexander Povetkin. How did you kind of assess it and what did you think of the decision as well? I thought the point was a bit harsh. I thought uh, it was closer than what it was. But um, it is what it is. It was. Qu I, I said to Yui, I said, you're going to be lucky if you get it again. So that's what it was. So uh, I'm not going to argue with the decision. It's what it is. I mean, obviously the testament that we know that your son's got a good chin and someone like Alexander Povetkin who's notoriously known for having uh, a punch shall we say but he could have taken them all, all night yeah he's very durable you like I said you know he's he's got a, he's, he's got some heart on him you know and at 24 kid needs a massive lot of credit you know for what he's done there but like I said I had it a bit closer he's still got problems with that right hand judging the distance for me that was a telling factor in the fight because when he did release it, he hit Povetkin once or twice. Matter of fact, he wobbled him, I think, mm. mid to late rounds. He just, he can't get that right hand properly for some reason. And like I said, like I've always said, to keep heavyweights at bay, you've got to be able to release them shots. So he's got to really look at that, because that's an issue for him. Because he's, maybe, because he's naturally a left-handed fighter, maybe he needs to change up and use his left hand. And maybe that's why he can't detonate the right as good. It's hard to say, so uh, that's it. But good experience for him again, and uh, it was a good, it was a, it was a tough matchup. Because although some of these fights, the Pulevs and the Parkers, and tonight haven't gone his way, he's got kind of a better resume than the majority of heavyweights out there at 24 years old. But at the end of the day, it is about winning as well. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, so you know, he'll have to go back, he'll have to have a look at it. You know. I wasn't too pleased with his performance, to be honest, you know, looking at it. Like I said, he should have got his right hand off more. He needs to release his shots. He needs to be a little bit more. But look, it's a, it's a tall ask for a 24-year-old. And I put it down just to his age more than anything. I think at this level, his age is a telling factor. But he'll gain so much from it. So um, we'll just back him off a bit, give him some steady fights and uh, let him mature into his game properly. There's one thing we do know about him, though. This lad's got guts and he can take any heavyweight shots at any world level. Hmm. And that's a big testament. But having that experience, it's about using that kind of as he moves into kind of, like I said, he's a, a baby at 24, really, isn't he, Peter? 100%. He's taking the best fighters in the world and they're dangerous. Hmm. You know, Povetkin's had a good camp. He's coming in shape. You know, he's, uh, he's done the rounds OK. But if you he just, you he ate him once or twice, if he'd have followed through with that right hand, we'd have seen a different result. But like I said, I thought the scoring was a bit ash. Um, maybe you just give it him because you were sitting back too much. I did tell him to get more of the centre as well. So it's, uh, it, it's one of them. You know, you can tell the fighter whatever you want to tell him in the corner, but he's got to take that and register it and do it. And it's a different thing doing it than talking about it. Obviously, the fight's just happened, but kind of the plan moving forward will be just to kind of, not ease him back in, but just kind of maybe get a couple of wins and then go, go back in again. 100%. Yeah. That's what he'll have to do. He's 24. He's got the world at his feet. And, you know, what a gallant performance. And, you know, rather than people keep slating this young man, they need to get behind him because, like I said, he'll fight anybody. And he's never been off his feet in his pro career. And, you know, you've seen shots from Povetkin. He took them flush full on. Hmm. They're not moving him, are they? So he's got a vast lot of potential. He's just got to unlock the key hmm. to be that, let his shots go. I think he come back to me after the third or fourth round, how are you feeling? He said, my legs are going a bit heavy. I said, well, just relax and walk. You know, he's, um, that's that nervous adrenaline. You know, he's just, you know, guiding him through it a bit. He got tired in there, but which is natural. It's a 12-round fight, heavyweights, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. And, you know, Povetkin, very, very good boxer. He's a world champion, Olympic gold medalist. You know, he's a good fighter. Very seasoned as a pro as well. He's 100%. been around the block, shall we say. But yeah. we know you're a kind of man and trainer doesn't dwell on things and you'll kind of get this out of your system as quick as possible and, and get him back in there? No, 100%. You know, if it's close, give it to the other fighter. Yeah. I'm not one praying on a win. He lose, you lose. Yeah. He'll pick it up and he'll have to get on and learn from that. So, um, but it's, what a great uh, debut to his <laughs> to Skybox uh, Sky office. I thought it was did raise some questions. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, I spoke about this with Eddie the other day that it's, it's his out. first fight for Matchroom and he wasn't kind of given that kind of that welcome to matchroom kind of fight. He jumped straight in there with Povetkin yeah, exactly. and he, he does deserve credit for that. Well, look, you know, he thought he could beat him. So did I. I thought uh, Povetkin's coming to the end of his years. I knew it would be a tough fight for him. That's why we worked on holding his hands up because I knew Povetkin would get through. Mm. But it, um, he, Yui just didn't lose his hands, hands going off. You know, the right hand is a t telling factor. 
So we'll have to really have a look at that going forward. Peter, thank you very much for talking to Apple TV and uh, safe travels back home and we'll catch up soon. You're welcome, Coogan. Good.